What we've learned the past year and whatever we're into this whole craziness is like there's so much to do in our backyard that we don't even realize. I've been in the Golden Horseshoe for over 20 years. I have never been to the Port Credit Marina. And here I am in a kayak with the mayor, Mayor Bonnie Crombie. And How Mr. are Panda. you? Thanks for coming to Port Credit. Thanks, for, ha amazing. thanks for having me. Do I call you mayor? Do I call you Bonnie? I call you. You call me Bonnie. Bonnie. All hey, right, Bonnie. Um, how are you doing? Uh, uh, a fantastic job. Look what I get to do well, today. I Come out say. and kayak with you. And listen, you're a trooper. We could have stood in the shores and done it from there, but you're just like, no, I'm getting in the kayak. Let's get, get in out the there. kayak, getting in the paddleboard, getting in the canoe. Let's be active this summer. Because how is Mississauga doing? Oh my God, Mississauga is so fantastic. We're in the middle of our reopening. We're encouraging everyone to get out and support all our local businesses. Get out and support the restaurants and the patios if you haven't. There's so much to do in Mississauga. We have over 500 parks and 500 kilometers of trails. So there's, there's biking and fishing and canoeing and kayaking. You can pack up for a day and go on a picnic or just sit on the dock and rent a canoe or a kayak like you and I are doing today. And well, we have, to, we have to give a shout out to the lads behind us because these, uh, these kayaks and the stand up paddle boards and whatever else they got, they got sea dues that are rather popular. It's Port Credit Adventure Rentals that uh, have just opened up this year and are, are renting these out in this very spot down here in, uh, in Port Credit. Because even over here, whoa, even over here beside us, Bonnie, like are those some of the trails and stuff like that that people can go oh, on? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. This is our waterfront trail, one of our most popular. I happen to enjoy the column trail as well but look at this we've got world-class restaurants right here right on the shoreline that people can enjoy so get out and support all our local businesses but get out and enjoy nature today like we are in our kayaks and paddle boards kayaks and canoes well I know earlier on you were out in Lake Ontario because there's a big there's a big event coming up I think it's called the silver Sa salmon Silver Salmon Challenge. Challenge, right. Right, so they, everyone can register and hire a local charter and get out on the lake. Who knew that Mississauga had a world-class, sustainable uh, salmon fishery right here in our own backyard? So we encourage everyone to get out on the water and try salmon fishing right here in Port Credit. Okay. How incredible is that? So if you're saying we got to do it, we got to do it. We we'll take a, we'll take a break. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll charter a boat. And we'll we'll head out into Lake Ontario. See if we see I if mean, we can. I mean, what a great group of oh, <laughs> group of corporate activity it is to get a group and go out on the lake and go salmon fishing. I don't want to be the guy that tosses the mayor into no, the drain. No, no, no. The mayor will toss you. <laughs> okay. Well, here we here we go. Here we go, Bonnie. You want to race? Because we're done. All okay, right. We're taking a go. break. We'll come back with lots more Woo! from Mississauga. I'm more than alive. <laughs> so soon. Paris 2024. I'm coming for you. When I met you in the summer. Take a look at that scene. Water and summer, they go together like, I don't know, risotto and salmon. Hmm? We're working that salmon thing in because we're aboard the Moby Dick this morning in uh, Fort Credit, Mississauga. I'm with Captain Nick Foxcroft. Nice to meet you, Cap. Welcome to have you aboard. Awesome to be aboard. Okay. So, you're a charter boat out of Port Credit here in Mississauga? Exactly. There's a fleet of about 15 of us, and uh, yeah, I'm just one of those guys. Right. How's the, uh, now that we're kind of getting past things, how's it been going? You know, there's, there's been a few hurdles, yeah. uh, but once we got opened up there, things things progressed. And, you know, we're out there, fishing's as good as always, actually a bit better with sizes, and uh, no, it's yeah. been awesome. Because bit, bit rainy, but yeah. Yeah, is, is rain good? gets us wet. Fish don't know. <laughs> They're always wet anyway. But yeah, honestly, really uh, yeah, if the fishermen can put up with it, yeah, it's not an issue at all, no. Okay. Silver Salmon Challenge. What's that all about? Silver Salmon Challenge. So it's an event. It's a huge event uh, that our whole fishery uh, community gets involved in. It's um, 10 weeks long. We started in June 19th. We go to August 28th. This year, grand prize $100,000. Yeah, it's... it's uh, pretty exciting and then each week is its individual event we do top 10 prizes throughout the summer like how big is salmon we talking about out there because <laughs> I think I, I just I don't know I didn't even know there was salmon out there I did you get that a lot honestly that is uh, something we need to change uh, you know yeah. honest to God we have the world's best salmon fishery right here in our own backyard Great Lakes they all have salmon this one is doing the best most don't know about it, so we just want to get everyone introduced. Uh, we have a thriving charter industry, open arms, guys that participate in the fishery through that if they don't have their own boats. And as you get introduced to it, it grows, and all of a sudden the guys are out fishing on their own. How long have you been doing it for? 
Ask my wife too long, but I've been over uh, 23 years now really? professionally, and I've been fishing it since I was a young fella. Do you still get the same feeling when there's a bite on the rod? It's a great question. Honestly, I've always told, and it kind of resonates around all of the captains, as soon as you don't get excited for that first bite, hang them up because, yeah, it is, uh, we live for that. And, you know, it's, it's somewhat, whatever, I mean, that's a small thing, yeah. but it's everything to us. So, yeah, we're, we're waiting on that, and it's, uh, it's a most exciting moment for sure. Okay, well, you, as Nick was saying, there's a number of charter boats that you can come and do this. You can also partake in the Silver Salmon Challenge. And right now, with the City of Mississauga and tourism, if you wanted to come to Mississauga, book a two-night stay, you would get another $100 gift card from Visa that you can spend however you want. So let's, uh, you want to go a little bit farther? Yeah, yeah. We'll check, out, check out the scene out there. Maybe put some lines in and uh, sure, yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, see, see what happens. Get you guys hooked up. All right, let's do that. We'll come back. Mississauga, on Morning Live. There's the city. There's Toronto right there. Overlooking Mississauga on this beautiful morning out in the water in Lake Ontario. We're on a boat, baby. And you know what? I first said, because I thought <laughs> Captain Nick Foxcroft said it's called the Moby Dick. I got it wrong. It's called the Moby Dick, <laughs> and we're here with Captain uh, with Captain Nick with a different little vantage point. It's a good seat up here. Yeah, right? no, you, you take the helm there. I think uh, we got some clean slate. I'm not too worried about you banging into anyone. So you got controls. So we're about 40, almost 42 feet deep here. You got it exactly. Yeah, that's just what's underneath the boat there. Um, no fish at the moment, but uh, if one pops up, how far do you go out? It varies. Um, you know, these fish move around a lot. Um, with temperature, and that's where they're oriented, right? So sometimes we're out 10 to 12 miles, sometimes half mile offshore. So kind of the way the winds blow the previous days determines where we're fishing the next day. Like this is the ultimate way to go fishing, right? But we, we want to cater to all types of fish and fishing and how to get started in fishing. Like what do you what do you suggest for people? No, you're right. I, I wouldn't call this the advance, but it's a bit of an investment as uh, this pretty much mimics what the rest of the world does offshore saltwater fishing. You know, the salmon fishing is like that. You know, I won't say the advance, but it takes a bit of work. You can get in this, you can get involved, hire a charter boat, as, as we touched on earlier. But these salmon, they're gonna start migrating. So come into late August, early September, they're gonna swim up all the rivers. You know, right here in Mississauga, we've got the Credit River. So there's ways to get involved. Southington Park, you can cast offshore there. Minimal, you know, a rod, reel, Nice little spoon, toss them all day long. First light, last light, usually the best bite. I have a five-year-old at home. He's got his he's got his first rod. I don't know anything, nothing about fishing. So like, what are some tips for me to help him out get hooked on it? Is it just, because he hasn't caught anything yet. No. He just kind of got the rod in there. Oh, yeah. You know, that's, uh, the anticipation is pretty exciting, you know, as uh, my kids as well. I would start off maybe Lake Aquitaine, uh, you know, top of Mississauga there. That's going to be your traditional bobber and worm fishing. But for a five-year-old, perfect way to start you know some of our salmon could probably get bigger than, than, than your little guy there so you don't want to get uh, throw them too much into there no but you just want that because that's got it's still you were saying it's still a thrill for you when it bites so like for a five-year-old a seven-year-old a ten-year-old to get that first bite ever has to get the hooked on it uh, you know <laughs> forgive the uh, hooked on it but that's exactly it it, it uh, for those that are passionate about angling that first one starts a lifetime uh, of participating in the sport fishery angling wise. So I would start Lake Aquitaine, Credit River in Arendelle Park there. Yeah. If you ever want to get out, take your son or your kids down there, take a look. These salmon are going to start running through there. You know, it's a foot, two feet of water and you got 30 pound salmon swimming through the rapids. As a visual, it's exciting to watch. Yeah. As they get a bit older, you get involved and even start catching some of those fish. Best time to go early in the morning, right around dusk? Yes, 5.30. We're usually leaving dock at 5.30. Okay. Um, fish bite that first thing in the morning, but you know, not everyone's up that early, you know, so fish all day long, but on a note, 5.30, 6 a.m. When you catch a salmon out of here, you can be eating said salmon, can't you? Oh, most definitely. Okay. Uh, you know, out of this out of this lake, you know, there, there's the old stipulation that it's a dirty lake. Not true at all. Gotcha. This lake's cleaned up a lot since um, since the 80s and 90s. Yeah. So the actual ministry does a fish eating guide each year and they study all of Ontario's fish. Sam is included in that. Great for eating. Um, and you know, <laughs> you see the price of salmon at the, at the right. stores these days. You Cheaper can come out and catch your own. Cheaper yeah. out here. Make sure you have a uh, fishing license though. We'll take a break. We'll see what the lads can catch for us because we'll go back to shore for our next stop in Mississauga and uh, maybe we'll pre prepare something salmon oriented 
Reminder, if you want to come to uh, Mississauga State for two nights, you get a $100 Visa gift certificate from Tourism Mississauga. Huh? There you go. Look at what we caught. I told you we would catch something out there. How about that? Welcome back to Mississauga. Here at Fired Up, right on uh, Lakeshore Road in Mississauga. We're with uh, Chef Louie. How you doing, Chef? Not bad, Tim. How I was you? actually kidding. We didn't catch, that, catch this. But this is, how big do you think this is, Chef? It's about 12 pounds, and it's Atlantic salmon. Atlantic salmon. Okay, yeah. and is that normally how it comes to you, like this? Uh, for us, no. Well, we usually get it on. But you can get, we, we usually get it like this but sometimes. Th so, so it starts like that. So then we're kind of stepping everybody through the process. And, the, and so. then we, we, we uh, play like this one. Is there anything about salmon? Like, is there any little bones in salmon you yeah, got so to get out of there? you have to them all out with, uh, you have to really be specific with salmon because you have a lot of uh, bones that have to be picked out. And you pick it up with uh, pliers. Yeah. Or, Do you like working or, with salmon? I love to work with salmon. Salmon yeah. is fantastic. It's, it's, it's a really versatile fish. It's really, uh, you can put anything on it and it yeah. tastes fantastic. So it goes from that to then. And then uh, you got this one here, which is a fillet of eight ounces. We portion eight ounces for our uh, for the restaurant here at uh, Port Credit. And that's uh, the way we, we and then what And then what do we have and Now here? we have our spices. Whatever you want to do with spices. This is our chives. Okay. We have our dill over here. What's the one in the middle? The middle is a crusted uh, pistachio and and uh, panko. So you would roll that you in can, there, you right? You can actually put it on top. It would be beautiful and baked in the oven. This is our grainy Dijon mustard or a regular Dijon. Do you have and a favorite? What do you what do you use there? What we what we use is our is I like to keep it simple. Yeah. In the restaurant, it's salt, some pepper, pepper, and some parsley. Right. But you can have a you know you have a curry paste as well. You can okay. do that as well as well. Let's go fine. into like how do you cook salmon? Because that's what people sometimes get frustrated with, that they don't know how to cook it if they're overcooking it or undercooking okay, it. So best thing to do is just there's a few ways to cook it. You can do a blackened salmon, right. which is you can put your spices there and just throw that. That's on high heat. That's, that's on a high cook. heat, and yeah. then you can just put it into a steel pan as you have there, the skillet. If you don't have a barbecue at home, you can use one of these. Just give it a nice little wipe with some oil. Right. That one's there. Then you have our pan seared, which is what we do here in the restaurant. We have the pan seared salmon here. And then we have the nonstick. Okay, so we got a piece of salmon to throw on there, yes, Chef. Let's, let's throw a piece right on here. here. Quickly, can I mention, look at this uh, Look at this office that you get to work with, right? Looking out over Lakeshore well, Road. How great is that for you? It's a beautiful. We get all, we get all the people watching us and Right. Feeling how how we do things here. You excited to have people back into uh, back inside? You got a patio outside too, so kind of rocking yeah, both worlds. We actually have two patios because now we have we have the extended patio that we because of COVID we have an extended, extended patio, patio. But and then we have a regular patio, and then we have now inside. So it's a little bit okay. busy for us, but you know we we manage. Yeah. So and let's let's work the magic of television. So, so that we, you would cook that there for a little bit. Yeah. Next step would be actually putting it in the oven, chef. Yes. Yeah, then I'll, I'll flip it over when it's uh, nice and. Crisp on the one side. Because ideally, what would you like to cook salmon at? Like, where do you want it? You want it uh, a, a medium well. That's what I like. That's what you like, that's what okay. I like. But medium well. You could cook to order well two if somebody wants it a if little less. If somebody wants it less, yeah. Okay. But this uh, medium well to well done is what I like to. I like to. I like it myself personally. Okay. And I actually like mine well done. So. Do you really? Salmon, yeah, see, salmon, I'm a little bit. I don't know. Salmon for me. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a little so, bit less than that. Yeah. So some some people like it less. So that would get flipped over. Yeah, and then we flip it over, and then we just pop it right into the oven. Right. Throw that in there. To the oven here. And, and through the magic of television, we got one that's already yeah, done. Yeah, it's already done. And it's already seasoned. See, you can see the nice crispness on the bottom. Oh, and then we just nice. pop it right onto, whoop, right onto our. What's the rice there? That's good. That is a uh, basmati with basmati with a turmeric. Just pop it right inside there. And the sauce. And the sauce is a, a caper aioli. So oh. capers with a little bit of aioli, and that's the. What we have with, uh, with our Amazing. vegetables and our looks, and looks great, Chef. Just one of the many wonderful spots. Fired up right on Lakeshore Road. You can come experience here in Port Credits in uh, Mississauga. Thanks Perfect. for the tour. Thanks for the Thank salmon. you, guys. Thank you. Do, do, you, do you got a fork? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you a fork. Timmy needs this in his belly.